The jury started deliberating at 345 earlier in the day when the Commonwealth rested their case. The defense rested their case without calling any witnesses and then made a motion to strike all three charges against Rand Hooper. Again, those charges, felony murder, aggravated involuntary manslaughter, and failure to stop at the scene of an accident. Now, defense attorney Craig Cooley argued the Commonwealth had not provided one iota of evidence of who was operating the boat at the time of the crash and did not provide evidence that Rand Hooper acted with malice. Again, Judge Charles Poston agreed that there was insufficient evidence to establish malice and struck the felony murder charge. He opted to keep the other two charges. Now, in closing arguments, the Commonwealth asked the jury to use their common sense when determining who was driving the boat. They argued Hooper didn't fall out because he was protected as the driver by the center console. They also argued he didn't want to get in trouble, and that is why he left the scene and did not tell anybody about the crash. The defense argued there is no physical or forensic evidence proving Hooper was driving the boat, and the Commonwealth failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Hooper is guilty. Hooper faces a maximum of 25 years behind bars. Working for you tonight in Norfolk, I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.